We came out here to bring a sword. And that's why you see every man out here dressed in glorious and war like a power. Because we came for war. And we're going to teach you how to win the spiritual warfare by getting into these scriptures, repenting, knowing that you're an Israelite, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. So don't think we came out here for peace. We came for war. And with that, call me Ashraf. Call me Ashraf. Call me Ashraf. Therefore, men 
he the king to do judgment and justice. So God loves Israel forever. Right? Bring that up. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 24. But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit the land. We're going to inherit the land. Right? Like I was speaking about. The heritage is yours. Go ahead. And I will give it unto you to possess it. God's going to give the land of Israel unto us to possess it. The Levant. All right, go ahead. A land that floweth with milk and honey. Of great possessions. Go ahead. The eye of the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Now that severed, that separate is set apart. Set apart means you're a saint. That's the definition of a saint. To be set apart. Right? Opposite of everything wicked and opposite of all other people. Right? Because the nation's heritage is wickedness. Right? If you're not an Israelite, not a so-called black, Native American, Hispanic, of Negroid and Indian descent, you are wicked in God's eyes. And you hold no value. Go ahead. Verse 25. Ye shall therefore put a difference between clean feet and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. Now spiritually, when you're dealing with the unclean and the clean beast, spiritually it's going into men, right? It's going into the clean and the unclean, right? This is why we're not supposed to mix our beasts. The ancient times, you're not supposed to mix a damn lion with a sheep, right? You're not supposed to make a lion, they try to lay down with a sheep and create a lion sheep, right? You had things set up, the sheep go with the sheep, the goats go with the goats, the cows go with the cows, right? The wolves go with the wolves, right? You didn't mix, right? You didn't mix the two. Go ahead. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy. And that holy is in your ways and your actions, too. Right? You're not just holy because you're an Israelite. You're holy because of your actions and your ways. How you judge things. Right? How you, how you stand up against unrighteous acts. You can't just proclaim this thing, put fringes on, and I'm just going to walk down the street. I'm going to see all types of wickedness going on. I'm just going to walk down the street and ignore it. No. It's your job. That's your job. Righteous judgment. Strong rebuke if necessary. Speak up. Speak out. All right? We're supposed to be conquerors, kings, and rulers. All right? Not timid little boys trying to get by in America. Go ahead. For I, the Lord, am holy and have severed you from other people. No, we're the same. I, the Lord, am holy and have severed you from other people. Go ahead. That ye should be mine. Let me, uh, let me, uh, Psalm 105 and start at verse 4. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now let's find out why God did that. Right? Is it just, is it just because lost the bet with Satan and now he got to pick the children of Israel? Or is this the reason why? Verse 7 The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number. We were a great people. We were the last nation ever created on this earth. Right? That's what we were. A small people. Go ahead. Than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loves you and because he would he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers as the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen for the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. So God was a righteous God. He was a righteous friend. Right? He told his friend Abraham I love you and I'm going to protect your children. I'm going to choose your children after you. So God was righteous. He was just. Right? 
He made a promise to his friend, and he intends to keep that promise. That's why you have the covenant, and that's why you have the new covenant. Right? If it wasn't for God being righteous and just with his friend, he wouldn't have loved Israel. He wouldn't have cared to protect, uh, separate, and sever Israel. Let me get that. The book of Psalm, chapter 105, and verse 4. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works that he have done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O oh, ye seed of Abraham, his servant. O oh, ye what? O oh, ye seed of Abraham, his servant. Ye children of Jacob, his chosen. His, his what? Ye children of Jacob, his chosen. So we're the chosen. Right? And I, I can get it from so many different angles. Right? New, old. We could, we could be here all day reading how the children of Israel are God's chosen people. Right? But well, we're going to get on these nations, too. Got to get these nations their judgments because they're wicked as hell. Right? They're making us pay extra taxes. Right? Because they got they got all these proxy wars that they're fighting all over the earth. Right? I'm tired of having to bust my behind to pay more in taxes because of all these proxy goddamn wars. Right? Everything is up. Food is up. Import, export business is, is a joke. It's through the roof in America, right? And it's affecting the ones that's not making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more, right? That's who it's affecting, right? But we're gonna point that out. We're gonna point out who is the wicked on the earth. What you got for me? Okay. One, one last scripture. Who the who God's favorite is? Go ahead. This is the Book of Psalms. On his peculiar Psalms one thirty five verse four. For the Lord has chosen Jacob unto himself. The Lord did what? Has chosen Jacob unto himself. Go ahead. And Israel for his particular treasure. Peculiar, peculiar treasure. treasure. Right? We are peculiar. Right? We're different than all the rest of you. We run faster. We look better. We're smarter. We're more inventive. Right? We don't struggle with depression like a lot of you nations do. That's jumping off a... Right? You don't have problems like all these other nations. Right? But you, you Israelites and you so-called black Native Americans and Hispanics, y'all get more the hell out in America. Suicide is up on the, in, the, in the black neighborhood, in the Hispanic neighborhood. Right? It's up. Um, let me get a. Uh, nice How you doing? How you doing? I want to try 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 You get me uh, Isaiah 63. Let's start with wars, right? Syria, Yemen, uh, Hezbollah, going up against the, uh, the fake Jews, the small damn hats, right? They ready to knock each other off the planet, right? Go ahead. The haughty people of the earth do language. The haughty people of the earth do language. Go ahead. The earth also is defiled and the inhabitants thereof. The earth is what? The earth also is defiled 
of the inhabitants thereof. Because of all the bloodshed, all the unrighteous bloodshed. Let me get that in uh, Numbers chapter 35. All right, bring that up. Book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? For the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, because the inhabitants of the earth are polluted. Right? The inhabitants of the earth love to kill, steal, and destroy. Right? Let me get that John 10 and 10. Go ahead. The book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 32. And ye shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should be Yeah, I want that. Like the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. So ye shall not what? So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. So you inhabitants of the earth, you all you do is pollute the land. Right? And I ain't talking about throwing your damn garbage on the street. Right? I'm talking about through your justice system, your educational system. Right? Your your military industrial complex. Your damn jail industrial complex. What's going on, Shalomon Kings? Right? That's how you pollute the land. Go ahead. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. So you're not supposed to pollute the land where you live. Go ahead. For blood is the fire of the land. And Unrighteous blood defiles this place. Go ahead. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. The land cannot be cleansed by the blood that's shed because it's innocent. All right, let me get that in Genesis chapter 5. All right, let me get the blood crying out. Okay, we're going to have to go to like Genesis 5, and I think it's like uh, 17, I'm trying 15. All right, where the blood cries out. Go ahead. But by the blood of him. That shut it. Uh, but by the blood of who? But by the blood of him that shut it. Huh? That's yeah. how the, the land can right? be cleansed, right? right? Because blood cries out. Because blood cries out. Right? When it's been innocently uh, spilt on the ground. Right? You find that, kid? Can you find me that in Genesis 5? Where eight, where, uh, Abel's blood was spilled and was crying out. Ain't it, Abel? You get me. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry. Good, that, good. Don't worry. He, gonna, he gonna find that blood. He gonna find that blood. Uh, you get me. First John 5. Right? First John 5. Bring that up, that innocent blood. What does that innocent blood do when it's crying out to the Most High God? Right, get it? Go ahead. Back right to verse before. So book of Genesis, chapter 4 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened up her mouth. That's, that's the point. My, his blood did what? And his blood crieth unto me from the ground. That's it. Man. Hey, let me get Psalms. Uh, this is going to be my last scripture. Let me get Psalms chapter 12. Psalm chapter 12, verse 3. Verse 4. Psalm chapter 12. The book of Psalms, chapter 12, and verse 4. Who have said with our tongue we will prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is the Lord over us? Who is what? Who is the Lord over us? That's what the white race says. That's what the Chinese race says. That's what the Japanese say. The Arabs say. Who is what? Who is the Lord over us? Jump down to eight. <laughs> the book of Psalm, chapter 12, and verse 8. The wicked walk on every side. The wicked do what? The wicked walk on every side. 
When the vilest men are exalted. When the who? When the vilest men are exalted. Right? So that's who's running the earth. Right? The vile men. And he's angry with the wicked every damn day. I'm Karate Zaka Bar, HYDC, DMV. Who miss ya? 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 Who miss Right, Ray. 
God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. God is going to cast the fury of his wrath upon him. The book of Amos where it says, If there be evil in the city, has not the Lord done it. God shall cast the wrath upon them when they think everything is good. When you want to celebrate your Super Bowl, God is putting punishment on you so-called white people. All the time now. Right. All the yeah. time. There will be no more good times for you. You destroyed the Native American Indians. You enslaved black people. There will be no good times for the white race no more. The white race will be punished from now until the judgment of Christ. Right. Rain. And shall rain upon him while he is eating. While he's eating. While they enjoy it then. The white people going out to dinner, you better worry. Uh, they might just uh, 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 collapse right there. Right. When you're getting married, you better worry. But the floor might sink right on you. Right. God says, whenever you rejoice it. Because there's no more rejoicement for you. But you destroy God's people. Great. Verse 24. And he shall flee from the iron weapon. What the Lord said? And he shall flee from the iron weapon. What is the iron weapon, the modern iron weapon? That's the gun. He gonna flee from the gun. The iron weapon is the gun. Right? Salak, so like, so like call the scripture again. Job 20 and 23, 24. The iron weapon is the gun. But for all you damn church loving idiots, say, not my Jesus, God would never do this. Say God. Now Satan. Satan did that. Got that gun killing those people. Now Satan, that ain't God. We got a scripture for that. Read. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Come on. And the people not be afraid. And the people be not afraid. Because we're warning you and we're telling you what's getting ready to happen to America. Right? The Bible says, shall the people not be afraid. Read. Right? Shall there be evil in the city? Shall there be evil in the city? Come on. And the Lord had not done it? And the Lord hasn't done it, man. The Lord says everything that goes down is at his watch. Everything that happens is at his watch. Okay? So you need to realize what time we're in, man. These wars is coming, man. These wars is coming. Like the brother said, $95 million to no. um, Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. They watching Taiwan, boy. Right. You know, that, that's going to be a war right there. And guess what? China going to take over Taiwan. China going to take The Lord got a spirit on these leaders, man. Give me Proverbs 21 and 1, I believe. The Lord got a spirit on these leaders. All these leaders want to come back and be the conquerors. They want to be the ones to unite their country. Right? They want to be the Genghis Khan. They want to be the mighty man that come back and unite their country back. Russia put they want to do the same thing in Ukraine. Right? And the Israeli guy, not a Jew. Not a Jew. He wants to do the same thing and get rid of uh, uh, the Hamas and be the one to go down in history. Right? Trump just want to be a dumbass and say all type of foolishness. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And he want to be the one to unite. So all these leaders got that. And what's that going to lead to the third world's war? Give me what you got, Jake. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1. Bring it up. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Come on. As the rivers of water, he turns it. Wheresoever he will. As the rivers are watered, he turns it to whichever way he goes. Meaning he's in control of these ladies. Right? He's in control. Putin talking big stuff. You watch interview with Putin. <laughs> the man laughs. He's a, America attacked me. <laughs> That's a joke to him, man. Get ready, man. They arming themselves. Just like the book of Joel tells you. Give me that in Joel 3 and 9, okay? The book of Joel tells you. They arming themselves. Let the weak say I'm strong. Pakistan, India, North Korea, they're ready for that. It's that time, it's that taking it. You gotta realize what's going on, black man. 
We gotta realize what's going on. All this is a distraction. All of that is a distraction, man. The music, they distracting you with things that's going on. You're supposed to be rising up with music, though. Revolutionary music. Right, right. Uh, music that's gonna rise your people up. Music that's gonna talk about kicking the white man's ass. That's right. That's the music I wanna hear. Right. That's the music I want to hear, right? Read that. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 9. Bring it out. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles. The Lord says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Come on. Prepare war. What? Prepare, Prepare war. war. Why is North Korea rising up? Prepare, Prepare war. war. Why is China rising up? Prepare, Prepare war. war. Why is war in Russia? Prepare, Prepare war. war. All over the world, there's war now. I thought those were supposed to be the real Jews. The Bible says, when the real Jews return to Israel, they should still not know war anymore. But what's going on? Those fake ass Jews, they ain't no real Jews. Okay, war, come on. Wake up the mighty men. Wake up all the mighty men, come on. Let all the men of war draw near. Let all the men of war draw near. And something's about to happen, man. America is going to be destroyed in the third world's war. You ain't going to stop the third world's war from happening, man. You ain't going to stop it. The black man needs to rise up and get angry now. Right. Right. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Pruning hooks into spears. See, look. That's what. They that was used to cultivate the land. The Lord says, let the weapons now. Turn that into weapons. Because you go to war. That's how we know. Give me Isaiah 2, King, and 3. That's how we know we're not in the day of the Lord's time. The Lord says what? Then turn your pruning hooks and all your weapons to cultivate the land into war. What is the biggest thing now? Nuclear weapons is being sold. Weapons to protect themselves. Why do Saudi Arabia was so tight with America? Because they wanted protection against Iran. And that's why they was giving America $60 billion to put weapons on them to protect them. Why is India now rising up on all these weapons? So that Pakistan don't get funded. Right? That's what's happening. Why is Jap Jap Japan want weapons? But the Pacific is serious out there. You got North Korea you go, ready for the taking, the takeover. So they got to protect themselves. The weapons is the main thing being sold. Right? Read, kid. This the book I said, chapter 2, verse 3. And many people shall go and say, come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Yeah, when the Lord's days come, the Bible says, many people are going to say, come, let us go up to the ways of the Lord. But it's going to tell you something in these scriptures. Read on. To the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his way. <laughs> Walk in his path. Walk in his path. And we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Get 
now with the Italian stallion, Morocco. <laughs> Hey, listen. Yo, the elderly going to do right now.
Richard the Lionheart. Black man fighting wars, man. Who the hell are you, man? You ain't never fought a damn war in your life. You so-called King Charles. You ain't no kings. You white people ain't no goddamn kings, man. Right? We got the history. You ain't no goddamn kings. That's you right. just came up, man. You was in the goddamn caves. You didn't even know how to wipe them behind in the damn caves. Right. Give me that right. Joe's dirty and five, man. And now you're worried about it. We're the real kings, and we can prove it. Kings of the yard off. White man, you wanna have a debate? Yeah, <laughs> you. You wanna have a debate? You talk so much on CNN and all that other stuff. You won't face us in the streets. You know you can't deal with us, man. Give me that joke, 30 and 5, huh? Give me that 16 and 5. It's the book of Revelations. Chapter 16 and verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vow unto the sun. And power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. You know how the sun is scorching men with fire? By giving people skin cancer. The ones that don't have melanin pigmentation are catching skin cancer. Because they lack melanin pigmentation. Like so-called Prince Charles, but the sun is burning them up. Yeah, like you too. Wave in your hand. Yeah, you lack melanin pigmentation. Right. <laughs> but you better be careful. But the sun is coming after you too. Stay out of the sun. Gonna burn you up like Prince Charles. Okay. <laughs> and men were scorched with great heat. And men were scorched with great heat. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be hot and hot on this earth. They're going to get hot and hot on this earth for white people. They're going to get scorched with the heat of God. They're going to get burned up with the heat of God like Prince Charles because you don't got no melanin. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't got no melanin. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't got no melanin. <laughs> They're going to get scorched with their heat. I look like a kid. And we in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get scotch. Right? Read it again. God. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16 and verse 9. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues. They're gonna blaspheme. They still ain't gonna repent for their wicked way. You're giving 95 billion all over this place, but if the Negro asks for reparation, he can't get a dime. You don't got yeah. no money for him. <laughs> but you got 95 billion, but they're all spread all over the place. Ukraine, Taiwan, all over the place, you can spread all this money, but if the black man, who well, you work like hell, and you can get the bones of the slaves and see how disfigured the slaves were. And beating down. Some of them actually died for working. And you don't want to pay them nothing. But you got all this money. Guess what? It doesn't matter. The time is coming, man. It's the book of Job, chapter 30, and verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. They were driven forth from among men. Who was driven forth from among men? Guys, it's called themselves kings. They were driven forth from among men. Come on. They cried after them as after a thief. All the dark nations got you out of there because you were a thief. You was a robber and stealer and stealing everybody. Land, jewelry, and everything like you do today. You're a thief. Great. Six. To dwell in the cliff of the valley. The cliffs of the valleys, the caves of the earth. That's where you come from. That's why you're known as Caucasian. Caucasian represent coming from the Caucasian mountains of Georgia, Russia. You come from the caves of the earth, and your scholars know this. Your scholars know this, right? In the caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among, or seven, among the bushes they pray. Among the bushes they pray. Come on. Under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools. They were what? 
They were children of food. That's why the ozone layer is strong. That's why the animals is in danger. That's why all of these things is happening. That's why the world is being polluted the way it is. Because fools is running this earth. <laughs> well, the fools is running this earth, man. Fools is running this earth. Right? Ready? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, children of base men. Lowest thing on earth. Lowest thing. <laughs> Lowest thing.
the Sulu Israelites. Right? I come out here week in and week out and let the so-called black man, woman and child, Hispanic man, woman and child, the American man, woman and child know who they are. Right? And we are the only people still out. You understand? That come out and spiritually bring down Babylon. Okay? But there is a good description of who we are and what we do. Bring that out, kid. It's the book of the rest of Esther in the Apocrypha, chapter 13 and verse 4. Declare unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was scattered a certain malignant people that had laws contrary to all nations. So that's us. We have contrary, our laws are contrary to Babylon. Contrary to all nations, we say on Friday, sundown to Saturday, sundown is a day of rest. You're supposed to relax. You're supposed to read the scriptures. All right? You're not supposed to work for wages. You're not supposed to eat bottom feeders that are shrimp, crab, lobster. You're not supposed to eat swine. That's the, the, the garbage disposal of the entire planet. You're supposed to eat only the best foods. Right. Drink the best wines, the best water, the alkaline water, the best fruits, the best vegetables. Because you're God's chosen people. Because the Most High God sets you above all people on the face of the planet. Right. So when the Moabites that are celebrating whatever New Year they're celebrating across the street, they decide to eat some centipedes and some squid. <laughs> you understand? They ain't got nothing to do with you, black man. Black man, black woman, black child has nothing to do with you Israelites. They got the stomach for that stuff. Having their bad soup. And all of a sudden, the whole world breaks out in the whole, in the whole pestilence because y'all want to eat whatever y'all want. Dolphins. All right, but what we do is contrary to you. And that's all praise to the most high. We're not like you. We don't want to be like you. We're clean. Go ahead. And continually set aside the commandments of kings, so as the uniting of our kingdom, honorably intended by us, cannot go forward. So the king says, you gotta get this jab, this Operation Warp Speed jab, that nobody did any testing on to this day. People are just dropping left and right. People 22 years old, 23 years old, having heart attacks. They say, it's the commandment. You got to take this in order to come to the restaurant. You got to take this in order to come to work. You say, nah, we good. And it feels good to be among the unvaccinated. It feels good to know that we weren't pressured in to taking something in our, 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 our arm that can make us sick. All right? But that's what we do. Go ahead. Verse 5, seeing then we understand that this nation is alone, continually in opposition unto all men. Continually in the opposition of all men. So if you say go left, we're going to go right. Because y'all follow after Satan. Y'all follow after evil. Y'all follow after wickedness. We follow thus save the Holy Bible. Thus save the Lord. So if you're going that way, we clearly going this way. That's, a, that's, the, that's what a Hebrew Israelite does. All right? Somebody that stands up for the Most High God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Seeing then, we understand that this nation is alone, continually in opposition unto all men, following perversely a life which is strange to our Lord, and evil affected to our state. Working all the mischief they can, that our kingdom may not be firmly established. And that's what we do. All right, we're the, we're the, the rebel rousers, as you saw likes to call them. All right, we're the ones that throw throwing the wrench in your wheel, telling our brothers to wake up, come back. The laws that commandments in the scripture. You so-called black men, woman and child are God's chosen people. They gonna tell you niggas. They gonna tell you that everything you did started after slavery. They won't tell you that King David 
was a so-called black man. King Solomon was a so-called black man. The people that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ was a so-called black man. According to the Bible, it's really written in the Bible. All right? We're going to learn you, though. Oh, oh slot. Can you get low? It's Iraq 35, 17. So, all right. So what we got to do is we got to follow these laws, statutes, commandments, so we get our voices heard. Bring out you got, huh? This is the book of Sirach, chapter thirty-five, and verse seventeen. The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds, and and so it come nigh, he will not be comfort, he will not be comforted, and will not depart. Till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and exalt judge and exalt judgment. Alright, so what we doing is we follow the law statutes commandments, alright, and our prayers pierce the clouds. We're trying to teach y'all how to do this. Have your prayers pierce the clouds so the most high will hear you. But your prayer will become an abomination if you turn your ear away from hearing the laws of the Bible. Alright, so don't you want your prayers to be heard? Don't you want God to hear you? Don't you want the Most High God to walk, have steps ahead of you, clear your path? You gotta follow the law, statutes, commandments, and the scriptures. All right. Stop eating garbage. Wear your fridges. Remind you to stop sinning. Treat your brother and your sister as yourself. That's how you want to be treated. If you want to be treated a certain way, why would you treat somebody else a certain way? Why would you treat somebody else bad? You want to be treated good. It's common sense. All right? If you got a lot of smoke for people that look like you, and you be giving them shots, well, when a white man kicks you out of your building and kicks you out of your house and gentrifies your neighborhood and stops and frisk you, you ain't got no smoke for him, and that's one-sided. There's something wrong with that. That means you're scared. All right? In order to get that fear away from you, you got to read the scriptures. And realize the only person you need to fear is the Most High God. All right, All right? and His Son. Bring out what you got. Huh? God, it's the Book of Sirach, chapter thirty-five, and verse seventeen. The prayer of a humble pierceth the clouds, and the Book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-two, and verse seven. Bring it up and give him no rest. Until he established, until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So we're not going to give the Most High God any rest. You understand? We, we constantly pray. We constantly stay in prayer. Most High, destroy these people. Most High, if it be your will, destroy the Moabites. They keep coming in our neighborhood giving us garbage food. You understand? They always got something smart to say. You watch their, uh, their commercials, they're racist as hell. You know what I mean? Extremely racist Japanese, uh, Chinese, you know, got a uh, got a, a hidden hatred for the so-called black man. You know what I mean? And they, 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 you know, they smile on your face just like the Edomites do. But behind your back, they're laughing at you. Behind your back, they stab you in the back. So we're not going to get the most high any rest. We're going to constantly keep praying to him that he destroys you. All right? At numbers 24 and 18. Alright. We get Samuel, first Samuel 15. Alright, so this is the spiritual war. You understand? We don't see the, the, the Muslims on the corners anymore. Handing out the final call, selling some bean pies. The only people that right now that are fighting against this devil in the end of times are the Hebrew Israelites. It's us. Right. Right. All right, we got prophecies. You understand? We got current events all lining up at the same time. Yep. And we're going to keep coming out here until the most I said is done. And then you're going to be asking, well, what was his name? Yahushua? Yahoo? Yahweh? They might come out anymore? Nah, but while we was here, you should have been paying attention. You should have been writing these scriptures down, learning about the prophecies. And here's one major prophecy in the law. Wait, okay. God, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 24, verse 18. And Edom shall be a possession. Zir also shall be a possession for his enemy. 
verse 17. And I, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter, and a scepter, scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of the Mo of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shem. God, and Edom shall be also shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession. So these so-called slackers, so these so-called white people are going to be a possession. That's right. That's you're 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 the walking dead. You're the walking slaves. All right. Because according to the scripture, according to this Torah, according to the Holy Bible, the so-called white people are going to be a possession. That's right. All right. Which means somebody is going to own you. You own our ancestors. So now you're holding the bill. Now you are going to be in possession. You are going to be the one working from sun up to sun down. You are going to be the one that gets no wages. You know what I mean? That is the prophecy in the Bible. Go read it, put it in your smartphone. Numbers 24 and 18, King James Version. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do validity. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. So we're going to do value. Y'all are going to work overtime is, is an understatement. Okay? And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Ah, so the first of the nations, Amalek, so-called white people, the so-called white Jews, right? So right now they're living good, even though they're surrounded by, you know, Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Turkey, it's about everybody, right? But their end is going to be destruction, total destruction. Most High God told Saul what to do. Saul didn't listen. But now he's going to do it himself. Wait, wait out first. Caution. Uh, the bus is turning. Three, come. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15 and verse 3. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they had and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. So everything Amalek has was supposed to be destroyed. He made it out with the skin of his teeth. All right? But guess what? The Most High God's going to be the one to destroy him. Okay? When you talk to a so-called Jewish person, you call him Amalek, you know exactly what he's saying. All right, that's why Netanyahu got in front of the world and said, yeah, well, our, our, our book says to kill Amalek, but you're Amalek. So out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, you being one of them, you're supposed to die. All right? And when it comes down to it, Hamas got something for him, Hezbollah got something for him, Iran has something for him. So everybody's looking at these so-called white Jews in the so-called Middle East as, as, as a meal. Alright? And we know how Ishmael gets down. Right. What he's going to do to the Amalek. The same thing he did to those hostages. I, I hate to break it to you, man. Them hostages, you know, they got taken out of their home with Amalek. <laughs> like, say, hold on, come here for a minute. Amalek's a freak, though. You know what I'm saying? But you learn it, you learn it really from y'all y'all Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Y'all cool. You know what I mean? Amalek and uh, Ishmael. You guys are a uh, 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 confederate. You guys are a confederate. So with that, you will learn from each other, learn from uh, each other's wickedness. So right now it's the guy of the ocean bank, destroying each other. Right. 
Go ahead, bring that down. Huh? This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse six. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made for me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. So. How about Shemel Shai made Amalek? He made these wicked people. That's why he says, look, be still and know that I'm God. Because I'm the only one to destroy them. You know what I mean? I made the sun, they're getting sun cancer. I made the bombs, they're getting bombed back to the Stone Age over there in Gaza. And in Israel, they're still getting bombed. The Most High God's going to destroy these people. All right? So keep in mind that we have uh, we have a job to do. Our job is to follow the law, statutes, commandments in the Bible. God's job is to do the judging. He's dealing with that right now, and He made it easy for us. He wrote it all down. We know what's going to happen to the uh, uh, um, to the Edomites. We know what's going to happen to Ishmael. We know what's going to happen to Moab. So we come out here and we profess it throughout the four corners, the chief place of concourse. The so-called white people are going down. That's right. You're falling apart. Your life is completely at a ruin at this point in time. Right. And there's no way to bring it back. You can't relive the good old days in America. It's done. You can't make America great again. It was never great. It's always been a place of captivity, of murder, oppression, ignorance, so forth and so on. How do you make that good? Can't. So what you need to do is recognize who your um, slave master is in the future and act accordingly. Stop with that stupid Edomite smile that we've all read through and start acting like a like a decent human being. Pretend. Pretend you're a decent human being. Pretend that you have some type of moral standards. We all know you don't. All right. Let's get uh, Zechariah 1 and 15. 1 and 15. Let me get uh, Revelation 14 and 20. Y'all took it too far. We sinned against the Most High God, but y'all went a step far, a step further, a step beyond. All right? This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 1 and verse 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen thou hast eaten, for I was but a little displeased, and they and they helped forward the affliction. I just kept it going. So-called white man, woman and child. You add, the, the scriptures talk about uh, a grape gathering, even in some grapes. Y'all are the ones that never leave any grapes. You go in, you steal, you don't steal some oil, you steal all the oil. You don't steal some of the resources, you steal all the resources. You know, when the Most High God turned you over and said, all right, look, it's time for punishment for the Israelites. Y'all just kept it going. 400 years is up. 400 cap years of captivity is up. And y'all even know this because Trump said it. Hey, man, we had you guys working here, you know. You built this country. 400 years. And that's probably why Trump is really going through all the problems he's going through. You guys paid $300 million here. A couple million dollars there. Can't have any type of uh, um, businesses in New York. He said, stop picking up these niggas, man. Stop telling them that, you know, America owes you something. But as soon as they say something, as soon as Joe Biden says, uh, I want to eat some fried chicken with some Negroes. Bring them kids over here, let's eat fried chicken. Look at that, he likes us. That's how Jake is so simple, man. The simple ones, how long will you love simplicity? You know what I mean? Just because somebody says your name, somebody says, hey, uh, you know, black people are, uh, they're decent people. Oh, I'm voting for him. That's it. That's all you ask, that's all you after is some type of recognition. How about some tangibles? As, uh, what's his name? Tariq Nasheed says. I need some tangibles. They're not coming to give you anything. They're not giving you any type of reparations. And they're really not even saying sorry. They're continuing to do whatever they want to do. All they got to do is say your name and you're happy about it. That's a slave, man. We got to get out that slave mentality. 
Right. What does scripture say? We are gods. We're gods on this earth. All right? Right. Bring out what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 20. Bring it out. And the wine press was charted without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse's brittle. What's going to happen in America? What's going to happen in Babylon? It's going to be so much blood is coming up to the horse's brittle. All right? That's how much blood is going to be spread, uh, uh, shed on this land. So you got to ask yourself, am I part of that that's going to make it? Or am I the part that's going to get killed in this, on this dirty-ass block, in this dirty-ass city? You understand? They don't clean up nothing. This is the, this is, this is the white man's uh, rulership right here. This is his heaven. Look around you. Same type of atmosphere he had when he was in the caves. It was dirty. It had lice. It had all types of bugs. You understand why? Because that's his nature. That's just how he. That's how he gets there. All right, go ahead. By the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. All right. So for right now, you know what I mean? It's a lot of things going to happen that's going to be uh, to be hard to smile in the future. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 5. No. For my sword shall be bathed in, in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumi and upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right, so the sword's going to be bathed in heaven. The Most High God's not coming with, a, with hugs and handshakes and, you know, slapping hands, slapping five. Oh, we're all together. What the, what the brother talked about? Uh, Martin Luther King. Y'all don't like Martin Luther King? We got to go with historical accuracies. All right? We got to go with truths. If he's having a dream that little white boys and little black boys are getting together, that has nothing to do with the scriptures. You understand? <laughs> the only time we're anywhere close is when they gentrifying our neighborhood or stopping friskiness. You understand? Other than that, we're, we're, we're not friends. You know, we've been fighting since the womb. In Rebecca's womb, we've been going at it. So when is that going to change? You know what I'm saying? The Most High God doesn't want it to change. We don't want it to change. God forbid Esau shows up on a chariot like, hey guys, we're going to the kingdom? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Where's God at? We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta talk about this. We we'll let him in. You know what I'm we have a problem with him our entire lives, and all of a sudden he's showing up for salvation. Not gonna happen. You understand? Know That's why the Most High God he got his sword bathed uh, uh, bathe in heaven. You understand? Know That's why right now it starts with the house of the Most High God. What? You, you got all types of people down in Peru getting their face chopped off. They don't even put that on the news. You know what I'm saying? They call face peelers. They peel your face off. Very quiet, very covert. And then, the, and then you see a chariot five minutes after that. Y'all make y'all make it make sense. He's saying his sword is made in heaven. All right. This is what's going down these last days. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 10. Bring it out. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Nah, so they're like, hey man, we're Israel and we're the Egyptians. Hey man, we're, we're the Egyptians, we're Israel and the Gentiles. We're, we're the last dragon in Mo uh, uh, not, not the last dragon. The last samurai. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the last dragon. Everything is. Yeah. 20, 30 years from now, Bruce Leroy like, nah, he didn't really look like that. Chinese man. <laughs> like this guy. Huh. 
so they just stealing everything. You know what I mean? Thinking they can be everybody. That's not facts. That's not the truth. Welcome to Route 17. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Instrument is required. Service to Virgin Market. Verse 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out against thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. So the beautiful part about this is the Most High is definitely judging these people. And also he's going to make himself known to us as he as he judges them. So when we come up here and we see an Edomite over there leaning because he got kicked out of K&A, he can't even shoot up his heroin in peace. Now he has to come to 15th and market looking like a, a, a bag of trash. You know what I mean? A bag of garbage, Tuesday's garbage. So we can just laugh at him. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing for the Most High God to reveal these things to us. Because they're not having children. And the ones that are children age got a needle in their arm. And the ones that are eight, uh, uh, at a certain age to have children, they don't have a needle in their arm, they're about to be in World War III. Somewhere in a country that they never even heard of. Or can't even point out on a map. All right. Go ahead. Verse 12. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given unto us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God. When the whole earth rejoice, I will make thee desolate. The whole earth is going to rejoice when these so-called white people are taken out of here. That's right. You imagine that you are so bad, you're so uh, uh, a terrible group of people that the whole earth is going to erupt in song and dance when you're gone. Everybody's going to be smiling. Everybody's going to be happy. You understand? So what we got to do as Israelites, as so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, all right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through slavery, with what our ancestors have done, we gotta come back. We just gotta, we gotta bring things back to a place where we know who we are, we know where we're going, because we know where we came from. We're coming from a place of, uh, uh, it's violent, has all types of rats and roaches, bugs and everything like that, but we're kings. That's right, that's right. You know what I mean? You sisters, you know, wearing pants is actually an abomination. Right. You gotta wear dresses with fringes. Right. All right, you gotta read the scriptures. It's not a white man's book. The white man is not smart enough to write anything that's in this, in this book right here. That's right. They say Shakespeare did it. Shakespeare can't do this. You understand? Have you ever read this book? This book is amazing. It talks about prophecy. It talks about history. It talks about current events. You know, it talks about the white man's the devil. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because you know? you're born into this. You're like, oh, everybody's the same. And then you start realizing this. Something wrong with that guy. Why is he always going to every country and killing people? And stealing everything. Right. And it will leave out of us, say, you know, Philadelphia, DC, the Bronx, whatever, will leave out because black people don't show up. But then when he's tired of commuting every day to work, he say, you know what, I want to move, I'm gonna move there again. We'll call it gentrification. Right. You know? Your eight your eight hundred dollar a month rent becomes sixteen hundred dollars the next month. And after that it's twenty four hundred dollars until you can't afford it anymore. That's an evil group of people that yeah. will leave people out in the street in yeah. the cold. Yeah. But that's the way that we're made. They're in a void of understanding. They're in a void of morality. The void of being anything holy and pure. They're the exact opposite. So once we know who they are, we know who we are, we come back.
so that Amos 9 and 11. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 11. In the day I will rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. I will, I will, and I will, ra I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the day of, as in the days of old. Huh. Verse 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. So there it is with possession again. Talked about it in Numbers. Talked about all throughout the scriptures. You understand? It talks about in Genesis that the elder shall serve the younger. Yep. So Esau is going to serve Jacob. That's right. Yep. How do you talk about that? Genesis, Amos, Revelation, all throughout the scriptures. But somehow people say God loves everybody. We don't. You no. Know? Nope. In the kingdom of heaven, you can be a slave. Yup, yeah, that's right. In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be a slave. So, what makes you think God loves you? If your face is red, and, it, and it's not even, the sun's not even out. You know what I mean? The sun isn't out. Can you imagine? In June and July, the UV rays. You know anything about the, the, the heat index, the radiation coming off the sun? All the sunspots blowing up? You understand? It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's difficult. You have, a, you have a question? It's difficult to think what life is going to be like when the UV rays are that high. And right now, it's not even summertime. It's not even 60 degrees. And you're still getting all types of skin cancers. Right. Go ahead, Kate. Imagine that. You're going to need so-called black people that can help you go shopping. How are you going to go to the store? Be dead on arrival. Verse 12. And they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name. Say the Lord that doeth this. Time. So all the heathen, all the Edomites, you're going to be in possession. We're going to use you like, uh, uh, like a bargaining tool. You know what I'm saying? Unless <laughs> you can you can hold five, five of my Edomites and I'll hold seven of yours next week. You know what I mean? Just don't kill them. Just, just don't kill them. <laughs> but if you do, we'll just bring them back and, you know, kill them again. Because we're going to have spiritual powers by them. So it'll be smart to treat Israelites with some respect because it's like treating your future boss with respect. You understand? If you know you're about to get a job and that man's about to be your boss, you know, you might want to buy him, you know, coffee or uh, a couple donuts or just give him your car and your house and your wife. That would be the smart thing to do. Because slavery's coming, might as well start it up sooner than later. Alright? So what you want to do is keep the law, statutes, commandments, and fear God, so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, Esau, you two-thirds that don't want to listen, don't care, and you other nations. What you want to do is get ready for slavery. Get the push-ups going, do some squats. Stop being garbage, all right? You got a lot of work to do in the near future, all right? So with that, I want to say in the Paleo Hebrew, rise Israel, home Yashal, home Yashal, home Yashal, home Yashal, home Yashal. Home Yashal. Home Yashal. Home Yashal. Keep going for like two minutes. All right. We going to keep on going. You understand? Because it don't stop here. You know, wherever we go, we bring the Most High God along with us. Because the angels are encamping around those that fear God. Right. So how do you fear God? If, you, if you're afraid of God, you fear him like you say you do, you're going to do everything that he commands us to do. He commands us to follow the laws that he commands. Remember, I don't care if he's purple or red or green. That's how God does. We talked about this, right? 
got you. Higher power, man. You got to believe in your own. You got to believe in your own. Most high God is the higher power. It ain't you, right? Hey, baby, but whatever's up there is going to give you whatever you believe in. You want to hear Revelation? You know what? Read, read Revelation. This is Revelation, right? The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Yeah. He that leadeth into captivity shall go oh, into captivity. captivity. So the white people uh, led so-called black people into captivity, go. correct? Come on with that, man. It's not, I mean, it's not it's, it's historically accurate. White people, black people. Is it historically accurate? It's a breakthrough. Well, how did my ancestors get here? What's that, brother? How did my ancestors get to this land? Yo, you know what? Everybody got here. We blame we put on our here? socks and shoes the same way. Have a great night. Oh. <laughs> he wanted to deal with that. 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 He wanted to deal he said, I got my, I got my, I got my, uh, my job to the yellow pages. Catch the cave, man, funny, man. Trump, yeah. Catch the cave, man. He said, I went to the yellow pages and got my, my, uh, my job. Drunk as hell, probably came in there. Security, security, he's a criminal. Security, everybody's drunk. Passed out. He doesn't care nothing but that bottle, man. He still gets, he still, he still, still has a job. You know what I mean? He still, still going to work. I let Jake sneeze twice. They're like, ah, right, he probably got COVID. He's fine. You know? These the last days that you see Esau's belligerent. He says, shoes and socks. That's all he got. Shoes and socks. <laughs> oh, man. Can't make this stuff up. It's the last days, man, you know what I mean? So let's repent and come back to the lost edge commandments and scriptures. All right? Come ya shall. 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 Shalom.